Okay, now I'm going to show uh, the basic concept of compositor, lead compositor, lead compositor, and lead lead compositor using body plot. Okay, let's say we have uh, uh, compositor gain equal to S plus Z and S plus P. So in S plane, so let's say, sorry, let's say lead. Okay. For lead compositor, Z is small than P. Z small than P. Less than P. Okay. In S plane, Okay, let's say we have Z, Z smaller than P. So P is here, Z is here. Zero. Okay, zero is here, four is here. So zero is smaller than P in S plane. The one is, okay, uh, in body plot, let's say we we plot it, we plot this one in body plot. In body plot, we plot in body plot. Okay. Okay, we know Z is a corner frequency, P also corner frequency. So we have corner, first corner frequency is Omega. Sorry, uh, Z smaller, so Z is here. Okay, so Z is smaller than P, it means that the, the first corner frequency is at Z, the second corner frequency is at P because P is larger than Z. Okay, P is larger than Z, so second is P, uh, first is Z. So for, for this graph, for this graph will be the one is poles so for pole means that a uh, positive increase 20 db per decade okay for pole the one is for s plus z for zero sorry for zero for zero is positive 20 db per decade for pole pole is denominator denominator so uh, at P, it will corner at P negative. S plus P. Okay. The graph will corner negative 20 B per decade at P. The one is positive 20 B per decade at Z, at omega Z. So, for gain, for face, face angle, Z and P, for face angle, Z is positive, P is negative. Will be so red color. Red color is for Z. Okay. P color is okay. The one for face. Individual. So individual in individual graph will be red for zero and black for poles then when we can combine it so the one is individual then when we combine it we just add at this graph and these two graph it will become so I put blue color please okay at this point we will sorry
Yeah. This is total. From, from graph, it will be for face. Okay, that is for total. Okay, so combine when you combine, we can see that the gain is increased at high frequency. So this compensator, this type of compensator, will will give our output increase at high frequency, increase at high frequency, and also the gain, the the phase will be uh, lead. Okay, lead. So the phase will be the between uh, omega z and omega p. So this is a lead compensator. So lead, so it will lead. The phase will be the graph. The output output will be lead at uh, high frequency. Gain will be lead at high frequency. Will be at at high frequency and lead at high frequency. Okay. Also we can adjust. We can adjust. The position of P and Z. If we make it become closer, okay. Let let it adjust to closer. When we when we become closer, let's say we move Z here. Become closer. If we move become closer, Z will be move here. Z will move here. Omega Z. Omega Z. So our output will be like this. Increase up to omega P, then flat. Here will be. Okay, so we can say that the gain becomes smaller and the face also smaller. So by adjusting adjusting the position of P and 0. So by changes the value of P and 0, we can make it become smaller, then the gain becomes smaller. Face also becomes smaller. If we increase, the distance is longer, so that means the gain will be longer the omega s and omega p will be longer then the gain will be higher and also with the phase just if it's longer the phase will be higher okay that one is for lead the basic concept of lead compensator okay for light compensator we just we just replace this one lead number two lead Okay, just swipe position. P is here. Okay, Z is larger than P. When Z larger than P, Z larger than P, so omega P will be here, omega Z here. Okay, just change position. So the corner frequency will be P, P first, because P is smaller than Z, P is smaller than Z. The corner frequency will be first at P, then Z. Okay. P is smaller, means that first corner frequency is P, P smaller than Z. So uh, omega P is smaller than omega Z. Also same with the face okay for P we know that P is poles pole at the denominator so the graph will be minus 20 degree decay okay P denominator for Z is 0 0 uh, numerator 
So the numerator of the graph will be positive. Positive. Same as uh, the face. Face at P will be negative. At Z will be positive. Okay. Then you want this individual, then when we add together, it will become this one, this one, until here. Flat. So, flat here. This one is total. Total S plus P over S, sorry, S plus Z over S plus P. Okay, this one is, will become minus. Total will be like this. Okay, the face. First angle, negative. Again also, uh, reduce. The previous one increased the gain. The second one is we will be reducing the gain. Okay. So this is okay. And also we can also change we can adjust the position of P and zero. Become closer. If we just become closer, this will become smaller. Closer. Let's say Z closer to P. Z closer to P. Okay, omega Z here. So graph will be like this and cut here. So smaller. So smaller. So by adjusting the the position of Z and P, our graph becomes smaller. Our gain becomes smaller. Our fail also smaller. So this by adjusting this value of P and P and Z. Okay, the one is for lag. Compensator using board plot. Okay, again, uh, and additional, if we want to, to for okay for lead and lag. Okay, for lead and lag, we just combine lead and lag. So put another one. S plus Z two. S plus Z. So in P2. Okay, this will become lead lag compensator. Okay, P1, Z1. P1 higher than Z1, higher than P2 higher than Z2. P1, Z1, P2, Z2. Okay. For graph, it will be. Again, fish. Okay. Smaller Z one. Z sorry Z two. Omega Z two. Omega P two. Okay, Z1, Z2, it will increase here, Z2. P2, Z1, P2. 
P1. Okay, what you can say that okay, the total will be total will be increase increase this one will be become flat. So this one plus this one flat until this part. Okay, then we plus this one this one this one cancel okay okay this one is for uh, Gain for graph will be okay. Now it's nilai. Okay, that one is a basic concept of uh, compositor, lead lead compositor using a body plot. Okay, thank you.